Hello and welcome everyone. In this CVT, I'm going to show you how to install Active Directory Domain Services on a Windows Server 2016. Open Server Manager. Once the Server Manager dashboard appears, we have to add a role in features. We can do it by clicking on Manage and select Add Roles and Features or we can select Add and Roles and Features from the configuration right here. You can read the instructions here for beginning. Click Next. In the installation type, we're going to select Role Based and Features Based Installation and we are going to click Next. Uh, we're going to click this server is the only, since this is the only server in the pool, we are going to select it and then click Next. We're going to select the Active Directory Domain Services. Now, we have to select anything else here, so we just going to include all the default features. Click Add Features. Now, we also need to install DNS Server. Again, so Add Features that are required for DNS, so we just click Add Features and automatically will be added for us and then click Next. In the Features list, we're just going to leave them alone, so click Next. Uh, and you can read, you know, a little description about the Active Directory services. So we're just going to click Next. And uh, same thing, same thing apply for the DNS server and click Next. Now, this, uh, this installation does not require the server to restart. But if you're not sure, just go ahead and click that, and it will restart if it needs to. So for In my case, I would not select that, so I would click Install. This will take a little while. One thing to remember is that before we start adding the role of Active Directory Domain Services is we must have our server with a static IP address and pointing to itself for DNS. Okay, once the role is complete, uh, you get this sign which says configuration required installation succeeded on the name of your server. Um, now, it says you can close this wizard. So we're going to close the wizard. And Notice that we have two additional tabs right under Roles and Servers group. We have Active Directory Domain Services and DNS. But we still haven't complete yet. We have to configure the domain. We have a notification, so if we click there, we can configure the server. So we have configurations required for Active Directory Domain Services, which is the domain name. So we're going to click here and we're going to begin the configuration. Uh, since this is going to be our first domain controller, this option is not applied to us. Neither the second one. So we're going to select our third option since this is the first domain in new for us. So we're going to select that. And in my case, my domain name will be cvtmaster.com. And then click Next. In your case, it could be your, your name.com or your company name.com. So I'm going to click Next. It will go through all the settings. This will take a little while. For its functional level and domain functional level, uh, this is if we want to migrate uh, older version of the servers or we have to join with uh, other, other domains into the forest, then we, we can select the appropriate uh, servers. So, you see, we can go back all the way to 2008 and same thing for the uh, domain function is only be a server, Windows Server 2016. Now we have to uh, type in the directory services restore mode password. 
and click next that's okay so because we haven't configured dns yet so that's still okay so we're going to click next and it will discover the netbios domain name and that's the netbios name so we click next this is the database location in most production environments the system administrator always try to put this databases into a different uh, volume but for the purpose of this demonstration we're just going to leave it in the default location click next and now we can verify this this is a script that we can use in um, in powershell with the identical settings so in our case we're just going to ignore that and but it's just a good thing to know it's there you can save it and then you can put them on powershell and then do the same setting from the command prompt i'm going to click next now we just fill a valid variant the prerequisite the prerequisite check has completed and we get a uh, all prerequisite checks passed successfully click install to begin the installation and you will see a little warnings here but they're not uh errors so you can tell at the bottom prerequisite checks complete and we can just click install so now is uh, the installation is complete and the server will reboot now the server is rebooting Our server has been rebooted and now we're just going to log in for the, our first time. Just press Ctrl or Delete. Our server has been rebooted. As you can see, we have a new domain, CVT Master, and administrator to the CVT Master is administrator. Now we can tell that we have successfully created our domain controller and log in for the first time to our new domain server. As you the server manager's dashboard is still working we can tell here it's still working and we have our domain controller is up and running so what we're going to do is um add a user tools and select uh, active directory users and computers and this is our forest and we have users here and we're going to create one user and that will be a CVT user. Click next. And we're going to type a password for the user. Type in the password. And user cannot change password and password never expire. I'm just going to do this only for the purpose of the lab. Click next. And click finish. Now we have our first user. Now we are on our Windows 10 and we are going to do a um, go to File Explorer and right click on this PC and click Properties. Then we're going to go down and change. You see now currently is Windows is in a work group so we're going to hit Change Settings and I'm going to select to rename this computer or change its domain so click change and I'm going to change this to uh, CVT master and click OK and or in your case it will be your domain so click OK uh, the CVT so we're going to use administrator That's the user with the privileges to add users to it from the domain. If everything goes well, we should get a welcome message. There we go. So now we have joined our first workstation to our domain. You see the welcome message, welcome to the CVT master domain. So we're going to click OK. And we're going to click OK. And the computer will restart. And then we're going to have to use our new user to log into the domain for the first time. Our Windows 10 has been rebooted. Now it's time to log in for the first time to the CVT master as CVT user. So the password. 
exists and our computer has joined the domain. You know, we can verify that the Windows 10 has joined the domain by uh, open Windows Explorer. We can just hold the Windows key and press the letter E at the same time and it will open Windows Explorer and then right click on this PC and click on properties and now you can tell that we have joined the domain successfully also the other way we can verify is we can close Windows 10 and we can go to our server and click on tools and go into users and computers click on computers and you'll see that we had the Windows 10 join our domain I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe comment below if anything is not uh, making sense and I'll be glad to help